hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i have a new video for you guys today's video is going to be a wig video which i haven't done on my channel in so long you guys know i used to do hair tutorials literally all the time and you guys loved it i think um some of my most watched um videos are actually from my hair video transformation which i haven't done in so long so i felt like i lost my groove and my love for like sitting down and customizing every little strand of um, the lace front. So today I'm basically going to be showing you guys how I laid this wick down that I actually got from Amazon. This is a full lace wig um, and it's a curly texture. It gets very curly, but obviously it's not wet. So you're getting this Afro puff thing going on, um, which I really like when I put it on, it looks like it could be my actual hair. Um, so I got this from Amazon for only like hundred and one dollars So it's human hair and it's full lace wig By the way, I already went ahead and customized it. I'm not going to be showing you guys that on this video Um, just because I have so many videos of me customizing lace wigs So if you guys do want to see that I'll leave it in the description bar down below But today we're just going to lay this baby down. I literally got this wig just for the purpose of putting it on a ponytail or when I want to do like the two puffs that I've done before um, I could just use this hair. I'm gonna just pop this on so you guys can see how it looks but look at the lace guys can you even see the lace? where is the lace? I did something slightly different I actually took one of my um, hair dye it's a brown hair dye and I literally just rub it on the lace. And as you guys can see, you literally cannot even like see the lace as much. But let's go ahead and try to glue this down and see if it is going to show up or it's gonna still be quite invisible. So I'm going to be using my got to be glue. And I like to use the invisible gel, um, styling gel, the one in the black tube, because I feel like it doesn't create that white castle and then i'm going to be taking the black freezing spray this is going to give us an extra hold so i'm going to just spray that all over the head So you're just gonna let that sit and get a bit taggy. For those of you guys that do have hair, and I mean, if you have hair, then you probably should not be gluing another wig, then put it on a high ponytail. You could just do your own hair. Um, but if you still want to use like a lace wig or anything like that, then I would say make sure you go ahead and wear one of those caps to secure your hair and make sure everything is completely flat. I do not wear the cap thing because obviously i'm completely bald and i don't need it i think this is tacky enough i'm gonna i think i want to spray just a little bit more of this so especially in the center because i need that baby to be secure up in the center take it to the back and just bring that forward making sure my center is centered and i'm gonna just lay that down give it a little bit of tap tap to make sure it's laying on that and then now we're gonna go ahead and take the sides and make sure those are laid too and make sure that the hair is not going underneath the lace if not the hair wouldn't glue down as much as it should okay so now i'm just making sure that the rest of the lace is also glued down so i'm just going to basically massage it and make sure that it's glued down it feels secure okay 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 this glue is much more stronger than the got to be glue you guys know that got to be glue is actually gel so it's not glue but it works really great to lay your lace um and it also comes off easily but with this one um it's a bit more like stronger 
um, but I didn't want to use it on the entire head so I'm just going to use it on the areas that are not staying down just so it's secured and when you apply this you just kind of let it dry clear before you go ahead and lay the wig down you can apply you can actually apply it multiple times so maybe about three times before you lay the wig down but I'm just gonna apply it once because I'm gonna take this wig off today I do not like to sleep with my wig so it shall be coming off in a few hours everything is glued on and I look crazy <laughs> but the wig is secured she is secure child and ready to be put up in a high ponytail um, what I'm gonna do so that the hair is not so hard for me to put it on a high ponytail I'm actually gonna put some water because I feel like it's gonna kind of get it to lay a bit more flat so I have water right in front of me and I'm just gonna put it in my hand and just start like brushing that through the hair just to be mindful I do want to let you know if any of you guys are interested in like purchasing this hair that I got from Amazon I'm going to leave the link in the description bar down below but just so you know because it's kind of cheap do not expect it to be like one of the best qualities ever because it does shed as you guys can see like it is shedding so I feel like it's not that bad though like the shedding is not that bad and for the price honestly I'm not mad at it and for what I'm going to be using it for so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my got to be glue I'm taking a big amount and I'm going to rub that and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing and just rub it all over that hair this is gonna help us make it as slick as possible I'm so excited about this slick I hope it works out the way that I imagined it <sighs> please work out the way I imagined it to work out. I've been dreaming about this forever so please work with me work with me honey work with me Brush the hair. To be quite honest, guys, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going with the flow. I'm discovering things as I go. I know I did something similar, but this is a completely different kind of hair texture. The one that I used on my, um, what do you call it, Sierra video when I did the two big puff, um, the texture was actually kinky but this one is not kinky texture so i feel like it's slightly different i'm not sure exactly what to expect but i'm just gonna start brushing it up okay so i gotta do this side oh jesus Shout out to you guys that have real hair that do this because child, this is not easy. Especially when you have thicker hair texture and fuller hair. Shit is not easy. I'm already complaining. Oops, the lace is kind of lifting in the back, but you know what? I'm not even tripping about the lace lifting in the back or even the back being so like um, smooth because the ponytail I'm going to be putting on is long, so it's going to be covering that anywhere. So I'm just going to focus on mostly making the sides as smooth as possible. Ah, oh, my dumbass. I should have opened this before I start doing this. <laughs> okay, I need to call my sister. Sam! Sam! 
Come here, please. Come here. I purchased um, this edge control on Amazon. I'm not exactly sure if it's great. If you guys have any recommendation, please let me know. Can you come open this? I can't. Do you like my hair? Isn't it so slick? Isn't it slick? Isn't it slick? Okay, so let's go ahead and see if this is gonna actually do something for us. This is my first time using, ooh. Ooh, wait a minute. I think she's like doing something, man. Oh, man. Did y'all see that? Okay. This is my first time actually kind of like purchasing an edge control because I always just use got to be glue and plus I don't really put my hair up like this, my wig up like this. So this is cool. What do I do with this now? Do I just, do I mold it? Do I braid it? Maybe I could just twist it, right? I'll just twist it. Instead of getting the actual ponytail that I can just put on, I decided to go with a half wig. You guys know half wigs is basically um, the ones that you put like about here and then you use the rest of your hair to cover it up. Um, and the reason why I went with this is because I couldn't find a ponytail that was like as big as this and dramatic because I really wanted my ponytail to be like dramatic and just big so i decided to go with the half wig and as you guys can see it's pretty big but i thought i could just take the straps here and just tie them so that i don't know the inside would be so much more easier for me to clip on and there's a comb so let's see what that's gonna look like when we put it so put it up like so So I'm gonna just go ahead and take some Barbie pin and secure it on the sides. I'm just gonna go ahead and roll this. I hope it doesn't look crazy. Does it look crazy, guys? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I think I tried my best. <laughs> I am just kind of over it. I don't think I want to go ahead and do this over again. But this was so much harder. I think I should have probably just went with one of the actual ponytail thing. That would have made it so much easier because I know they had the strings that I could just pull. But since I'm using this half wig, I think it made it a little bit harder. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my makeup and I will be right back so we can see how everything actually looks. And I'm honestly just so happy with the way it turned out. It's not perfect, but I feel like it's good enough. One thing that I really strive for, even though I feel like I'm kind of limited because I'm bald, I'm not able to do all this different hairstyle besides just like putting the wig on, but I wanna challenge myself to just figure out other ways to make it happen for me and also for you guys so if you are a ball sister and you've been wanting to do something like this but you feel like you're limited and you can't do it yes you can sis just get a couple of wigs glue one and put one on top um but yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoy it let me know in the comment section down below and if you have a recommendation of a hairstyle that you do want me to try I know I'm not great at it, but I am willing to give it a try. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And remember to always be your own kind of beautiful. Bye! Tell me exactly how you feel. I'm just trying.